Hello and well, welcome back for another video. Today's video, we're going to talk about quality assurance. Sometimes you do get artifacts that you're wondering is if it's power meter settings or it maybe it might be the coil. So today I'm going to show you how easily you can do the quality assurance of the coils you have, both on the older software and the newer software. I'm going to try to cover everything. So either you have new software or old software, you will be able to do this easily quality assurance of the coils. So please take a look at this image right here. This image of the knee is almost 10 years old. You can see it is noisy and it's not good at all. However, do you see any artifacts? Not? Stick around and I will show you something cool. For those who are new, my name is back again. I'm an Amarai Redagopher. In my channel, I'm coming things from basic to advanced Samurai topics, tutorials just like this one. If you have subscribed yet, considering doing so. I've been thinking about making this kind of video for a very long time because quality assurance of the coil the equipment you have is very important because in many times I've seen some small artifacts which is very difficult to spot, but it could be one of the elements in the coil. So without further ado, let's continue with the, the case I just showed you at the beginning. All right, as we can see here, this is the same knee I showed you earlier in my beginning of my video. So this is PD weighted tools, but I call coronal. It's very difficult to spot the artifact or the no there's some noise in there out here, but it could might be that you press too hard on the sequence or you, you don't have enough SNR. However, let's look at the fat set. So you can see clearly something is going on here, right? So something is really going on. Is there something wrong with the coil or is a parameter setting? So you can do a quantity assurance to check. So let's continue here. This is a PD weighted and a fat set as well. It's very easy to spot on the the fat sat sequence right here is some of the more fat saturation, the, the noise. And uh, nonetheless, it was the coil. So we did a quality assurance. It was the coils, the elements of the coil, which was faulty. So uh, yeah, we had to order a new one. Do you spot the artifacts right here? It's very difficult, right? But you can see the artifacts is right there. So this is the anterior part of the body 18. And uh, there's a small element, which is, is broken. So that's why we got this kind of artifact. So whenever you got a new one, you can see that the artifact is gone. So it's not a thing you can do to do a quality assurance. So let's go to the software XA first. So first we're going to take a look at the XA software, how you can do the quality assurance, because it's a little bit different from the new software here compared to the old one. So let's go for the new one. You're probably familiar with these icons, the system check. You have the my exam cockpit examination, then you can lock the screen, right? So if you go into uh, the system check, you get this. So here you have an overview uh, of the status of the system. So let's go and find the coils. Quantity assurance up in the corner right there. And then you have a few options. Go to customer quality assurance, general. So here you can see all the coils you have. The problem here is that it says to do, that means that you should do a quality test, right? But we already did this. So if you have the password, you log on and you do the quality there. So it's kind of separate. So if you go in there, it says already done. But out here, we don't do a lot of quality assurance out there. You always, always use the password to get inside the scanner and do that. So you can see we have one knee call, which we were doing on in this way. And, and besides that, we do everything where we log on with the password. So it says okay, that means that it's okay. And if it's something faulty with the coil, it says not okay. And one test could take two, three minutes, not that, that long. So let's do, well, we uncheck everything and we just want to do the knee coil. So I'm just gonna show you. So you already plug on the knee coil, you check here, and then you push the go button. So you will be a pop-up window like this. So it's explained to you very easily that you should use this coin. You should use this specific phantom, how you should position um, the phantom and then how you should, should proceed. So it's very easy. All right. So let's jump over to the e software, the older software. So for those who are familiar with this software, you can go ahead to the option, the service custom QA. So here you can see we have the, all these calls for this specific scanner right here. It's the same here to do to do, but already we logged on, we did all the tests there. So yeah. 
So it's the same here. Let's go for the body 18. Then you choose the body 18, which is connected inside the, uh, the scanner. And then just put go. And then you will have a, a guidance of showing you how you should uh, position it, the phantom, everything exactly the same. After you've done that inside the scanner, you go out and push OK, and then it will continuously do the, the testing for you. So after a few minutes, it might say to you, you have to go in here and then unplug the contact, change the position, then continue. So for this body 18, you have to unplug and plug it a few times before it's finished. But nonetheless, just follow the instructions. It's very easy. And if you do one step wrong, you might have to do it again because it says not OK then. So just be very carefully in position everything. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you find this video valuable. I mean, quality assurance is very important to exclude those kind of artifacts we have. It's not always by the parameters it might be coin damage and so on and so on. So I find this very important. Before we close up, I do a question for you. Do you usually do the quality assurance by yourself or are the physicians who are doing this kind of test for you? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you get a ding ding whenever new things from me are coming up. I'll catch up with you in my next video. Take care and peace out. Bye bye.